today we're going to be talking about recycling and composting at school. Here in Seattle, recyclable materials have been banned from the garbage since 2005 and compostable materials have been banned from the garbage since 2015. So it's the law to recycle and compost. It's also better for the environment and saves us money. It takes a lot of energy and resources to get food to your plate. So it's important to eat it. It's fuel for your body and your brain. After you've eaten all you can, it's time to take a look at what needs to be disposed of. Do a quick sort of the items on your tray before you get up so that you can be ready when you arrive at the waste station. Group all the recycling together and all the compost together and all of the garbage together. If you have uneaten food, you can save it for later. And you can put your reusable items right into your bag. Liquids like milk and juice will be emptied into the liquids bucket. Recyclable items like the milk and juice cartons, clean plastic juice cups, plastic bottles, cans, empty coffee cups and lids, and clean paper will go into the blue recycling container. Compostable items like food, food soil paper, paper boats coated with a compostable lining, and wax paper will go into the green compost container. You can even put meat, cheese, bones, and untreated wood like corn dog sticks into the compost container. Garbage like plastic wrappers, plastic juice pouches, straws, and plastic forks and spoons will go into the gray garbage container. Some things can go into multiple containers depending on how clean they are. Huh? Clean paper bags can be taken home to use again or go into the recycling container. But if they have food on them, they should go into the compost instead. Uncoated paper plates that are clean can go into the recycling container, but if you have food on them, they go into the compost. If you think it will be too confusing to have two places for these to go, what? then it's okay to put all of your paper bags and uncoated paper plates right into the compost. Plastic coated paper plates can be put into the recycling if they're clean, but if they have lots of food residue on them, then they go into the garbage. They go into the garbage, not the compost, because they have a plastic coating and plastic does not belong in the compost since it doesn't decompose. If you're having a party, use plates and forks that are compostable, or better yet, choose food that doesn't require plates and forks in the first place. Plastic food bags that are clean can be taken home and used again. If they are dirty, then they go into the garbage container. Yogurt and pudding containers, if you scrape out the rest of the food with your spoon, it's considered spoon clean and can be put into the blue recycling container. This small amount of food left in the container does contaminate the recycling a little bit, so the best thing to do is to take your napkin and wipe out your container. Then you can put your clean yogurt container into the blue recycling and your napkin into the green compost. The same is true for plastic clamshell containers. If they are clean, then they can be recycled, but if they are dirty, then they are garbage. Things like napkins, paper towels, always go into the compost container. This is because they're hard to recycle into new paper products. Sometimes items accidentally get into the wrong container. If that happens, just pull it out and put it into the correct container. Don't worry too much about a little bit of contamination in your containers. Oops. Just do your best to get things into the right one. If a fork or a straw ends up in the compost or recycling by accident and you can't get it out, then it's okay to leave it there. Then, stack your trays. The paper trays will be put into the compost dumpster outside. The durable trays will go back into the kitchen to be washed and used again. There are a lot of simple things you can do to minimize the amount of waste. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and compost. For more information about what goes where, go to the Resource Conservation page on Seattle Public Schools' website Together we can leave a greener world for our students.